It is a land. It is a planet of white and black. We shall go there. It is quiet, but that is because we are in space. And space cannot have sound, you see. Oh my gosh, we're huge compared to the planet. Well, all right. It is connected, thank you. I do not need to set up the engine. I would like to be selling the hedgehog. Awesome. <laughs> I can't hear shit. Yeah, there's nothing. There was nothing. Vacuum of space, yo. Uh, <laughs> but, regardless, how welcome everyone to the Sage 2021 show showcase. And this time, we got Sonic Discovery. This game has sort of a relation to my last Sage of last year. This was edited by uh, Chris Haman, Haman 04, uh, and it states, uh, the description states, A demo which follows Sonic through an elevated city. I made a small demo called Sonic Portals for Sage 2020 to test the waters for game development. I was pretty disappointed overall with the project, but I was compelled to try again. So I took a second shot and decided to work on this project. Uh, I actually checked out Sonic Portals. I know what he's talking about. It was pretty simple, just like one act. Really rough, but it was an, it was an attempt. It was honestly not the worst thing in the world. Um, apparently he wasn't happy with his project and decided to work on something new this year, and that's Sonic Discovery. So, fair enough. Uh, apparently this version of the game is not the full demo. Uh, oh. Let me check something. Now, I don't normally repatch games after I've downloaded them for Sage in the first place, but there was a special note here that he was going to update it, so let me actually go see if he did. Um, may as well. Doesn't hurt to check. But, uh, let's see. The answer is... Uh, yeah? That seems to be updated. Let's, give it, let's, get this, let's run this and see what... I'll give him, I'll give him fair, you know, give, it, give the game the best chance it has, since I did have the... It, see, this is what I appreciate. If a developer is going to, like, update their game later, it's nice that they leave a note in the, um description because then I am aware I can kind of from that heads up I will try to read out the game that's why I left in my notes after all um let's say this is actually a different version I think it is uh it's, it, I guess it all depends on the date dated t time of this that was August 8th and this one is August 24 okay yeah that's a newer one let's run that then all right here we go So, yeah, this is Sonic Discovery, made by the same guy who made Sonic Portals, and apparently it's a basically an attempt to make another game that is perhaps better than his other attempts. We'll see how it goes, I guess. But uh, while we start up here, and while the game attempts to load visuals, do you want to pick that up? Okay. Well, anyways, if you like the video, do think about giving the video a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. Uh, if you really want to help out, though, come on by Twitch. I'm trying to reach partner, but I need more viewers. That is the only thing holding me back, so your attendance would literally be invaluable. Please come on by if you feel like it. Uh, and, you know, if, if you want to, because it would really mean the world to me. And also just have more people to talk to is always good, too. Uh, I also have a Discord community if you want to check that out, hang out with some cool people. And I also have a coffee link now if you want to directly donate. Uh, all those links are in the description. Now... Do you want to set up the... I want to... You know what? I want to stretch. Stretch. There we go. Look at that. Um, yeah, more viewers is... Like, honestly, I am nowhere near the point where I can't keep up with the chat. I need more viewers. <laughs> more people to talk to is honestly a good thing. Um, do I want to set up the engine? I want to... So this is definitely an updated version. I'm noticing a few differences here and there. So, that's cool. Oh, yeah, there's actually other other characters available. Oh, boy, it's Tails. The controller is connected. I, I can't use it on the tile screen, but it is connected. Let's see what we got here. Oh, no, I don't. Tails. I will play the best character. Now, let's see. Uh, start Legacy Stage. Oh, so let's just start. Let's start up. Oh, sound. All right, it does work with controller. I just had to get in game first. All right, we're starting atmospherically. I'm down for this. Is the audio too loud? Let me know. I can I can turn it down if it's loud. Hmm. 
the lab? Anybody else think the audio's loud? You're the only one that commented, so. I can turn it down a bit. This is, uh, this is intriguing, though. I mean, that we, we did land on a black and white world in that cutscene, so. Well, I'm glad I updated the game, because Sonic was the only available character in the previous version, but this version has tells, so naturally this version is better. Mash A or Mash C? Mash? What do you mean ma- oh, to fly. Oh wait, do you have different- oh, that's interesting. Does that- does that mean Sonic has a different starting stage? Alright. Oh, there's like machinery. Okay, well I'm gonna say this right out because I remember Sonic Portals. I vaguely remember Sonic Portals and uh... I must immediately say, this is way more interesting. It really is interesting. This is definitely Tells' le level, so to speak. Huh? You want me to fly here? Oh, you, you want me to... Yeah, Sonic Portals was just kind of a limp single-act level, which kind of looked nice, but kind of just started you in the middle. You go left or right for random stuff, and there was actually no end goal. There wasn't even, like, a goal post or anything. You just kind of walked around, got some rings, and died. That was it, pretty much. This is... Wait, okay, I just... hold on. I'm... this is intriguing to me. I like this. This sets up an... this sets up an air of mystery, and I, I dig it. I dig it quite a bit. I dig it? I dig it! Dig it, dig it! I think that's how they did the voice in the anime. I kind of look death egg-ish when we crossed over. I do wonder how long this goes on, though. How long? We landed on a black and white planet. Oh, and there's Robotnik. Tells us like what? <laughs> Fat Ruby. What is that? What is that laughing at? Saturn City, Mason Park, First Street. Oh my, Burb. Oh, well, this is so much better than Sonic Portals. Alright! Ha! I like the- I like- oh man, this is such an old car, I love this already. Okay, this is good looking. This is, uh, it's got- it immediately starts with a nice- This is a lovely version of a springboard. I love it. I love this a lot more. Oh, it's out of these. Hi. This is the guy. Oh, that's a very that's a very chalk TV box thing. Ah, I love some I love me some is this does this count as jazz? I feel like it kinda does. I think oh, oh. Hi there, how you doing? Hey, <laughs> wave. Oh my god, oh wait, is that a custom animation? Wow, Tell, Tells! When Tells grinds, he is very serious. That's why he loses his entire body while grinding. He becomes Linky Boy. <laughs> <laughs> it looks a little bit. I'll be honest, it looks a little cursed, but. Oh, it's basketball peoples. Hi. Why are you standing on top of a building and dribbling? <laughs> Seems like a dangerous place to dribble, but. Okay.
mean, we haven't seen any enemies, but I'm enjoying exploring this level all the same. So many people just climb out of their windows, though, and stay at roofs. Seems a little dangerous, I, I don't know. Nope. Knuckles only, probably. Can I go up? Nope. Oh, wait, hold on. Linky boy! <laughs> is it cursed or is it weird? I'm not sure which. That way it could be both, though. Open 24 hours! Giant skyscraper! Open 24 hours, cool. I appreciate the giant skyscraper is open that for that long, it's very handy. And maybe it's services. So we're going very high up now. Like I just realized the the the, the hip the uh background just keeps scrolling. That's actually kinda neat. Oh, there's those. I'm never good at collecting those. Also, I like how our score time in rings is, from what I can tell, one of the, uh, one of the LGBT flags. This color scheme is, reminds me of... No, it makes me think of Sylveon, which also might be a Syl LGBT flag, I'm not sure. What we got here? Oh, wow. Okay. Wait a minute, that background... Is that... I got distracted. Is that from Chrono Trigger? It looks very similar to something from Chrono Trigger. Trans colors, Sylvia's two of the colors of the trans flag. Oh, okay, cool. Wait a minute, Sylvia's... Has anybody done a completely trans colors Sylvian? Because that would be kind of neat. I mean, those colors do work well together. Calling the gems rings, that confused me. The gems are worth rings, my friend. We're, we're spending them for some for some for some rings, that's all. Oh, there's spikes. Our first hazard. Okay, my only complaint is that there's really very few enemies here. Oh. An enemy! It's a roller it's a motobug, but it looks cyborgy. Let's take a look at this. All right, well, thanks. <laughs> like, it's like how the game's like, oh, is that your problem? Here, have some enemies. <laughs> I like how the game responded to me. That's pretty amusing. What was that? As far as I can tell, that was the Sonic Hedgehog Sonic One cartridge. That was a Genesis slash Mega Drive cartridge of Sonic One. Okay. Huh. Oh, that thing I dropped is bomb, so I better be careful then. Does Tell stand on this? Oh, nice. Tell's is pretty light if he can stand on the street side. We'll have to fix that later. Fat Furs Unite. Oh, shit. I sure I'm not getting all the red rings, but that's okay. This is amazing! I, I... You guys should probably... You guys should check out... In fact, I'm gonna link it at the beginning of this video on the YouTube. Like, it'll be a, a related video at the start of this video. Um, check out Sonic Portals from my 2020 showcase, because... It's impressive this was made by the same person. This is legitimately a lot better. Like... 20 times per 20 times better, honestly. And you got you got me hooked with some jazz too. Come on. Not hard. Not hard for me to enjoy that. Oh. oh I found three of them. Isn't there usually like five at a level? Level 
Like, he, he was... He, he felt bad about his last year project. So he was like, I'm gonna do better this year. And guess what? He fucking did. He fucking did, man. This is really solid. I'm just enjoying vibing to this. Also, we have a, we have immediately a bunch of mystery because we were we were in some weird black and light white planet that where Doctor A you know Doctor Body's latest creation seemed to have crashed Death Egg or whatever it is. So it's like what's going on there? But then we of course Fan and Ruby. If I was to complain about anything, it's that the Fan and Ruby in my opinion is a little bit overdone and not very interesting, but. I am intrigued by what the hell happened, and wh where where are we now? We get to did we go to Sonic X World because there's humans everywhere? <laughs> that reminds me. I think I saw a fan game attempt to make it a Sonic X like game. Though actually, there's actually an official Sonic X uh, game, licensed by Sega and everything. It was for the Leapfrog, I think it was or something. It's like a learning game, but it was Sonic X themed. While also being kind of classic Sonic. Oh, okay. Well. Oh. Ah. Uh. Thanks to getting a one-up at that exact moment, we didn't get to hear whatever the clear act song is. I, I was kind of curious what it is. Well, hopefully there's more than one act so we can hear it. It interrupted the clear cleared act song. I want to hear the music. It's good stuff. Oh yeah, there's act two. Good. We're good. Doesn't matter then. Oh, we're in the big city now. Oh man, dude! Oh shit! Oh oh wow! Oh no! <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Two things. One, this song is a redux of Act One's. I can tell. Excellent. Secondly, Act Two is significantly different from Act One. Act One took place in like the out outer limits of the city, or like the seaside suburbs. And now we're in downtown with Act Two. Loving this act present act act progression be or uh, zone progression between acts is something I love. Freaking yes! Oh, I want that. And this is this is good freaking jazz, man. I always feel like this sort of jazz would work well in a side game, so I'm very happy to hear it. You don't hear jazz often in side games, but... Sonic Before and After the Sequel kind of introduced me to the idea of using unusual genres from, you know, Sonic fan games. It's really awesome to hear. I mean, you've got a little bit of jazz with like, you know, Rouge the Bats levels and such, but... This is why, this games, I'll be honest, games like this is why I do Sage. That subway section, did I just almost get run over by a car? <laughs> cool. Also, I just realized, Hilltop's up. Nice. Am I getting emeralds when I do this? I don't actually know. By the way, it's hard to make the jumps, unfortunately. It's a little tricky. It's easy to not be able to... Like, I'm pressing jump, but I don't have the jump available at certain times. Bit of a shame, that. I wonder if uh, I'm supposed to be getting enrolled there, or if it's just for, just for rings. Yeah, down here, wasn't there- there's a car that tried to run me over. Yeah, that one. <laughs> oh, oh no! Okay, I don't know if you guys noticed, but after the taxi went off to the left, and I went back down, there was a brief moment where I was down here, taxi was under the ground and freaking out. I don't know if you guys noticed it. Anything over here? Oh yeah, there is. Nice. Ah. I mean, I don't really know why I'm going for these. I can never get all of them, but... I was right. The taxi was hiding a secret. Weird place for a taxi to be, by the way.
Oh. Oh, nice. I use that as a boost. Ooh, speed tree music. Ah, speed it up. Yeah, that works. I'm digging. I'm digging the. Oh, yeah, see, see that? They're a little. Interesting. I knew it. I knew I saw it correctly. Oh, I like the I like the speed up version. That's a nice redux. All right. These taxis hold these secrets for me. Nope, I can't even enter their tunnels. Fuck. Music. See, I like one thing I like about Tails is he can't use elemental shields. That may sound weird. That means they have a little more. That means Sonic has a little bit more utility. And plus, Tails can fly, so he doesn't desperately need the movement abilities they provide. Oh. Oh, interesting. You're using the boss theme from. I know this. Sonic Overture's boss theme. The game that never got finished. Well, you might as well use it. No, nope, they're, they're not using it. Whoa. Oh, this is a new version, though. Just feels like the kind of boss I see to kill me for. Well. That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> Probably. I agree. I like the audio, though. Well. That's two games in a row where I died while I had rings. <laughs> this seems to be a consistent thing I discovered. <laughs> that was actually, uh... Hmm. Oh! Oh! Time limit! I died because time limit, not because of that. Go. <laughs> Which is actually- oh, it didn't even reset when I timed out. Go. There we go. My is gonna be- oh, I timed out! That's how I died. The one logical- so it wasn't really a glitch. Though I do have to say, player should probably have- when you- that was really good. Boss fight was a little bit on the- kind of hit it- just hit it a bunch rather than actually use strategy side, but to be fair, a lot of- Sonic bosses are like that, but I just felt like that boss could easily hit you. So the idea was just to attrition it. But, uh, yeah, this is a way better. Oh, music by T Loves, yeah. I wonder if he wrote tracks specifically for this game. I can't quite tell, actually. Though it could have. Yeah, that dress could have been his, I suppose. He has a lot of. He has a wide musical range, so that could have been his music. It's hard to tell. Um. Really good. That was really, amazingly better than Psy Portals 2. Like, way better. By the way, Psy Portals was not involving, like, Portal, like, the game Portal. Uh, it was just a title that didn't actually make any sense within the context of that particular game. But yeah, that was just a mediocre game, but Psy Discovery here... Amazing what difference a year can make. A year and a new project. This is really impressive, and I definitely encourage, uh, I definitely enc encourage Chris to continue working on this one. Because unlike last year, this is, a, this is good. This is a keeper. Keep working on this. Um, I enjoyed this quite a bit. Honestly, probably, probably the best fan game, Sonic fan game I've, I, I've, 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 so far. At least as far as demos go. Um, I had some good times with some other Sonic fan games so far in Sage. But this is definitely the one I vibe to the best. See you next Sage. I hope so. I would like to see that. So yeah, that's this is the black and white world we apparently landed. I don't know what's up with it. It's very interesting. I don't know if it's 
like a world that we've already seen in other games, or if it's a completely unique world. I can't tell. It looks unusual and different. But, uh, yeah. There are other characters we can play as. I'm not going to really bother, but I want to check one thing. That first area felt very tells focused I have to wonder if... Oh, yeah, and there's also these. I, I completely forgot. Let's play as Knuckles with the Legacy stages. Or not. Have a level select. Concept art? Alright, well, let's we'll we'll go back in with Knuckles then. Knuckles has his hat. Well, that's good. From the OVA, right? So, alright, cool. Let's see if anything changes with Knuckles. Well, oh, probably not, actually. How else thought I'd climb this wall? To be fair, Knuckles and Tails can do very similar things. There is some important differences, but probably not for this tutorial. Yeah, the tutorial changed because the character changed. That makes sense. Knuckles plus hat equals best Knuckles. <laughs> Hats are good. Let's see something. I'd also like to note they did a good job of making a hat animated with his movement. Yes, I'm I'm intrigued. I'm gonna keep an eye on this one. Next year when it has another demo, I'm totally checking that out. I want to know more. But uh, I assume everything's the same, but let's just make sure. Just make sure that Knuckles is the same stage and everything is not. It's, it's tells. Just want to see. You never know until you check. I love that laughing shrug that Robotnik does, like, yeah, okay, same as before. As I thought. Nothing wrong with that, I just wanted to know. Well, I am intrigued. This honestly is really cool. Uh, there we go. Honestly, quite cool, though. Keep an eye on this one, guys. I feel like it's gonna go somewhere. But, uh, yeah. I guess that's all I have to really say about that. So, once we're back on the title screen, I will very happily say that that, if it ever goes back to the title screen, was Sonic Discovery. And, yeah, this is cool. Keep an eye on this one. See what happens. And uh, maybe play it for yourself, because it's available as a demo as well. So go play it. It actually played really nice. So that was the that's the one part you don't get to see when you're watching a video. How, how how exactly does a game play? It's the answer is really nicely. So go check it out for yourself if you're interested. Maybe see if you can get all the red rings, because I sure did it. And that was Sonic Discovery.